Finally, I am in the Hogwarts Library. Professor Dumbledore told us to study about geometry of linear programming. I should read some books about it. Oh, there! Aloha Mora! Now, what is linear programming? Linear programming was invented in 1940s by George Dartsdee as a result of a military research project on planning how to distribute men, weapons, supplies efficiently to the various fronts during World War II. The goal of linear programming is to optimize, meaning to maximize or minimize a quantity. Many businesses, industries, and government agencies use linear programming successfully. It is a mathematical technique which permits determination of the best use of available resources. It is valuable aid to management because it provides a systematic efficient procedure which can be used as a guide in decision making. Oh, I remember! Under linear programming, there are hyperplanes and half space. So, what is hyperplane? A hyperplane is a concept in geometry and it is a generalization of the plane into a different number of dimensions. Hyperplane is also called a decision boundary that separates your data. It will always have one less dimension than the data space it is built in. Like for example, a sub 1 and x sub 1 plus a sub 2 and x sub 2 plus a sub 3 and x sub 3 equals b. Then, if you are working in three-dimensional space, a hyperplane will be two dimensions, and this linear equation will be known as a plane. And if you are working in two-dimensional space like a sub 1 and x sub 1 plus a sub 2 and x sub 2, then your hyperplane will be line. Now, what is half spaces? Half space is either of two parts into which hyperplane divides an affine space. It is the points that are not incident to that hyperplane and are partitioned into two convex sets, such that any subspace connecting a point in one set to a point in the other must intersect the hyperplane, and it can be either open or closed. A half space may be specified by linear inequality derived from the linear equation that specifies the defining hyperplane. A strict linear inequality specifies an open half space like this. And a non-strict one specifies the closed half space like this. Here, one assumes that not all the real numbers from a sub 1 to a sub n are zero. Now I must tell everybody what I have just learned. 